Okay, base. Something we're always talking about. And here, just because we're in mount does not mean that we can't have base. It's actually like, you know, if I lose base, he might be on top, okay? Or um, I'm losing position off balance, I fall over, he gets to get up, kicks me in the teeth, I don't know, anything could happen. Right now, I'm kind of sitting over Micah's hips, okay? Let's turn sideways. So I don't want this where my hips are going straight down over his hips, because if he raises his hips up, go ahead and do that, just a brief. Yes. See, I, you made me put my hands down, I was kind of off balance, like I did that first, and you start hip escape. If I start leaning backwards, it's not a good situation, okay? So, what I need to do, is that my hips are a little too far back. I need to come up a little bit, but my hips don't need to come up too much. Like there, I'm, I'm too, too far forward a little bit. So here, I don't wanna be sitting on your hips. So I'm gonna put some weight into my knees and I have a rounded spot, okay? And, and just kind of almost periscoping here over your face, all right? So that's, that's kind of middle mountain. Look how I can, I can adjust. There I can put a little less weight in my knees, a little more weight in my knees, right? Less weight in my knees means more weight in my hips, okay? So here's a, let's take a look at what to do if they're framing to hip escape, right? We saw this, 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 and we'll also talk about this, okay? Let's do the singles first. So if you go here, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn, and then I'm going to lean weight on this, right? That way I can start coming down to track for different ways to take the back that we'll learn in some later classes next time we come back around to mount. So if you come here, if I got that middle mount here, and then I lean on it, okay? So uh, both in the center. This is a different one. On this one, we don't just deflect. Um, that's not gonna work, man. So you're pushing me back, uh, push me to a corner. Yeah, see that? I might even fall over if I wasn't ready for that, okay? So when this happens, go ahead. Right, I round my spine. So so much so that when the pressure stops, I want hands on the mat. And that's fine, we'll talk about hands on the mat in a second. Because if somebody, it, like if you caught me here over your hips and you bridge, I'm, I may have to put my hands on the mat. I just have to be strategic about it, okay? So <clears throat> there's this idea of bringing our weight forward. And that can stop it. But then we, as a review, rounded spine, I'm doing my froggy stretch with my feet together. My toes are pointing backwards at the matted wall over here, okay? I, I don't want, this brown spine, it, it feels pretty good. That, you know, nice arch. And, and when I round things, I can still base on my hands, my knees are light, and you're like, this sucks, okay? So that's a, just a transition to low mount. So the distribution of weight against this or this is middle mount, and then I lean forward with that rounded spine, like more of that periscope sort of idea I was talking about, right? And when you start doing that, people might bridge and try something else, okay? And that's when we just loop into defeating the bridge, okay? Um, so one more time in the center, and then we'll let you review, okay? You're pushing back, I'm getting middle mount, you felt, you felt me lift my weight up here, feet together, low mount. See, I, I, I can add a little weight on my hand and knee, or my hand and knee, or my hands, or my knees. And it's just, that allows, if you move, I can just follow it. I don't have a lot of weight on anything except you, okay? So let's take a look at this from your perspective. Let's face um, here. First, let's just find our weight. Okay, so start with, start sitting on, sit, seated on my hips. Okay, yes. So you feel, if I raise my hips, particularly if I had you wedged in there, like this, if I raise my hips, it would off balance you here. Right, you feel how you, you're like a, a rodeo rider just then. Don't do that again. That's my, my busted hand I just pushed you off with. It kind of hurt, but. Um, so, that, that's all it took, okay? So, um, 
drop your weight back down. Now, you feel how light things are in, this, in your knees, okay? So I want you to, not too much, raise your hips up. Three, this is a little too much, a little less. Round your spine. Yes. Okay. Or just a little bit. Good. Now, up just a little bit more, but come forward and round that spine a bit. Yes. Okay. If I come up and you start being off balance, you raise your hips up. Yes. Okay. So that's that's the weight. Little to move move us. I tell you, get your, that's that's better. That's better. Right? Good. Okay. So if I start going here, deflect. Yes. You can use a palm. Elbows better because look at this weight. This, this is terrible. Okay. I go here. Lean on it. Yeah. That's terrible. Now go, go with that. Now drop your chest down on that. And hands on the mat. Boom. Both hands on the mat. See, now this is totally trapped. Right? I, I have both hands on one side. Not good. Okay, so that's just defending, deflecting frames. Okay, now the other one, weight in the knees a little bit more. Good, not too much pinch, but a little pinch. You know, never want your legs to be uh, trembling. Okay, now if I go both here, round that spine, just find the distribution of weight. I'm not going to push you backwards. I'm going to try to the corner though. This is a little more advanced class. If I try to the corner to offset that a little bit, I'm gonna go to this corner. Okay, so to offset that a little bit, you could turn this hip a little bit more. They said that's not anything like I'm super concerned about. Yeah, see, now by, just by itself, it'll be fine, right? We're gonna talk about defending this cross frame a little different way. But if they go here, low mount all day. If they go here, Low mount all day. Okay, get your weight up off my hips a little bit. I go here, fold over that, go low mount. Drop your chest, hands on the mat, feet together, toes back. Round spine. Right knees and hands. Good. Nice. Okay. So that is defending against uh, the hip escape ideas. All right, so here, here, you deflect. Oh, weight a little bit more up in your knees, a little bit more weight in your knees. Deflect, right? Low mount. Yeah, it's almost like you're uh, kind of skydiving, right? Uh, if that's good, if we're coming, go low mount all the way, knees wide. Yes, good. Nice. I just totally trapped under there. Terrible. That was good. Okay, but it is. Um, I think it's tenth plane if they call this the skydive when you're holding the low mount like that. Um, but. That is um, a really good overview of that. Now let's go into a couple other things, okay? Let's back on your back. Let me try this way. So, when someone is bridging, okay? And there, like at the very top of his bridge, he got me. So I don't, I don't need that. Like I don't, I don't wanna go forward because you made me go forward. I don't want to, like when earlier, we're maintaining, we're both of us kind of doing it going backwards, like, like kind of like a rodeo sort of idea, it's weird. But people do that, okay? And you can, something to watch for. So before I start doing that, I need to just lower myself down. I'm gonna stay in middle mount when I do that, so it's gonna be something like this, okay? This is, we talked about the knee elbow escape. When you notice somebody has hands on the mat, you can knee elbow escape. So that'll be the, the last thing we address on the maintaining mount, right? So we need to be able to defend against hip escape, bridge and roll, upa escape, and the elbow escape. That's the big three, okay? So let's go over that. Now, if you start bridging and I'm here, not good. You made me do that, okay? Now, start bridging. See how my... My hips are back. It's, it's like the same thing as I was low mount. My hands are light. My knees are light. This is one of the recent classes. We may have been talking afterwards, but I was like, yeah, raise your hips like this. It makes my hands stay on the mat. They're stuck there. My hands aren't stuck on the mat when, when you did that, okay? And it's because of the timing, okay? So here, I don't have weight on your hips. 
but I feel your hips go to come up underneath me. So I start coming forward. Not as you were making me come forward, I started coming forward before that. Mm -hmm. I, felt your, I felt your bridge, I'm like, he's trying, to, he's trying to bump and make me be off balance, do that. Beautiful. Round spine still, light on my knees, but I can pinch and light on my hands. Yes, okay. So um, the, the big thing is just being able to, it's distribution of weight. Here, middle mount. I don't have to go low mount, I just here. Okay, I, and it, the thing is, if I come too far forward here, put your hands under, uh, either in my hips or under my armpits, either one, and make me go forward. Now you can start doing an uh, escape where you kind of roll out of the back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we don't want that. So when you bridge, try and do that now. Like, and, and, and just in a very subtle way, I'm leaning and pulling my hips backwards, okay? Just in a, in a very subtle way, okay? So this middle mount, and then when you bridge, I'm here, right? Not over your hips. My hips are going back like that. My spine is staying rounded, and I can push with my hands a little bit, but again, I like to be on the base of my hands. Let's get you to try that one real quick. Good, okay. Bring it forward a little bit, rounded spine. That's good. That feels like a good middle mount. Light, light pinch with the knee. That's even better. Okay, so here, it's just like standing base. Like you could defend. You're good, you have good distribution of weight. Think about when we bring weight in the balls of our feet, it's like what you're doing right here, okay? Your weight's forward. So I'm like, I don't like this. I'm like, try and bridge. Start with your hips staying back. Just fold your chest. Fold over your hips that are staying back. Hands are gonna be on the mat here. And let me, let me put you too far forward so you know what it feels like too. Too far forward. See, I just like pushing your stomach. It might be in your chest, your armpits. And I can just keep you kind of bear crawling up over my head. Okay, so get that good distribution of weight back. Good, so when I bridge, fold, hands on the mat, right there. Oh, that's pretty good, good. It's very similar, very similar to low mount, except we don't have to do the feet together, knees wide, froggy stretch thing. Right? It's very similar, right? Like low mount, think the hips are, doesn't matter if you push them back. There's nothing's happening, same thing here, okay? So do that again, I bridge, oh, late. See, do that, try and simulate that mistake again. I sit, I'm like, oh, he's going backwards, push him backwards. That is such a great application on this hip escape we learned a couple classes ago. Remember we talked about like, hey, uh, go, to, go to hit me with that hand. Right? Now do this. Get your middle mount. Light pinch. Go to hit me with this. <laughs> you already have the weight distribution, so you can do more things. Okay? Um, so, here, when I bridge, you fold, hips back, hands on the floor, about right here. Yes. Good. Okay, now. Hands on the floor is just a thing. Like that said, so think about middle mount as being a high posture and a low posture, like inside a guard, right? You saw some of the punch defense. Well, and, and in some later classes, we'll see kind of both perspectives of like, I'm postured up inside your guard so you don't control my posture, or I'm trying to control your posture so you don't hit me, right? It's that interplay always. You may have to come down like a low mount uh, or like a middle mount with low posture, okay? so. When I bridge, we'll just pause there, okay? Oh, good, stay here. Now, what I want is if I feel I can, that you just stopped my idea of taking you overhead, get that good distribution of weight, your hips are back, they're folding over my hands. So if I do this, turn your shoulder, pummel inside. Turn your shoulder, pummel inside. 
Mm -hmm. One at a time. Turn and pummel, turn and pummel. Here's a good detail on the pummel. Put your hand in your back pocket here. Like turn your shoulders first, hand in the back pocket, pummel. That, that back pocket, yeah. And then turn your other shoulder, hand in the back pocket, right? So like when you turn, whatever side you turn, turn this way. That hand goes in the back pocket. Then, then that really ensures you got that pummel in there. Okay, mm -hmm. pummel back inside, pummel back inside and get that weight, low posture, middle mouth. Good, okay? Now, that's the two main ways with hands on the mat to not just get knee elbow escaped, right? Like they're, they're not just gonna turn on their side from here. Now, here's the thing though. We're talking about, oh, they were bridging. We stopped the bridge, but now, right? You have good base, so they might not just immediately knee elbow escape. A lot of times people just bump and knee elbow, okay? So what we're gonna do is, if you have good distribution of weight, and I try and put this seatbelt frame on you right here, it's not really gonna do anything. This is particularly if you put a little more of this hip into it, yeah, like we talked about earlier, that's kind of more advanced concept. You can do it without that, but this is really getting sense. Oh, I feel what you're doing. It's oh, it's just that one. But we got we need to expose to this a few times before we can think that way. So here's the thing. There's gonna be two ways that we defend. Let me get on top. That we defend against someone trying to knee elbow escape. Okay. <clears throat> And we've seen some of these ways, if you think back to one of our first classes, low mount, we've seen some of these ways to, um, to counter this. Okay, so here I am in middle mount, you try and bridge me, I fold, right? Try and push my hips back. Still not gonna work. You're straining a little bit there, I like it. Right, okay. that's it. Okay, so I got this good blow postured middle mount. I didn't come up under your armpits. My, my feet are not wrapped around your hips in low mount. So from here, you um, if you try, we saw this in the low mount video too, and just as a review, if you try and wrap my arm for some reason, you're not doing the right thing, so it doesn't matter, I just pump it, okay? So, but if you try and turn on your side to knee elbow escape, That will stop it. I feel like um, I um, maybe broke your spine doing that, right? <laughs> like, look, like you're eh, like, like, like made a, a weird curve there. But, but that, then you can't fight. Yeah. You, you need your head to be in alignment with your spine to do this stuff. Okay? So here, try and turn on the, uh, turn that way. So I come under his head, the side he's turning. Look how that torsions and torques his body on the other side. Okay, now a lot of times people will turn on their side to build this frame a little bit and I'm not down. Okay, if he is doing that, I want to control this bottom arm. And this can be a wrist control or it could be a sleeve control, right? And, and you really just need to be able to do both. It could also be like plucking his um, elbow. Okay, turn here. So think, like, see how you got that inside position there? I don't want that. If you have that, you might start, You. this is how we nail boys escape. Last class, go ahead and do it. Yes, beautiful. Go back. This elbow is instrumental. It is the knee of the knee elbow, right? <laughs> or the elbow of the knee elbow. Okay, but, so I need to, I need to deal with this. Okay, so if you start trying your knee elbow, That's plucking the elbow, turn this way. Go this side. Right, and that's more of a hip escape. Right, turn, get, get a little more on your side. Leg straight in the center. Go ahead and do the knee elbow on that. Yes, good. Come back, you do it again. Cool. Right, there you go. Now, d go ahead and do that again. This is almost like cheating to me. Mm -hmm. Right, what if you had short sleeves on and we're in the parking lot? I like it. Let's try. Go ahead. And then see how this, this distribution of weights go. Bah. Right? Bah. And just working on that theme. Uh, so, you know, hammer fists are good amount, dropping a little elbow, wedging a hand against the spine, or going under the head. We've seen all that today and in, in, in this uh, program so far. So, stop my meal. Do that with the head thing, the mm -hmm. moving the head. 
moving the head or pulling the arm out or pulling the arm out and so we have things in twos today we deflected frames right we deflect and we low mount transitioned folding over frames okay and then we saw oh if he bridges i do this if you you're stopping the upa so much if you do that it doesn't matter if i try i don't have the white right anything to try and wrap your arm for the to continue that escape okay so but that hands on the mat that's a counter to the upa stuff but when your hands are on the mat we said this last class like that's a great time to do the knee elbow escape right when their hands are on the mat so here that's you yeah good 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 boom the side i turn to yeah go ahead yeah just get uh do this we'll, we'll start yeah we'll start in that position we're just talking about here all right so we'll start with the bridge that way you get it so you get the middle mount good distribution away you may be able to kind of go up and down a little bit okay now when i bridge you come forward boom yes okay so then i'm like oh, I'm gonna throw it. yeah perfect now go back go right back there and then here yes a little more toward my spine a little more yes that's it okay stay here good way yes okay now it's plucking the arm boom boom okay what if i just did turn this is a way the sleeve and wrist is often shown because on some of them think like these are great fine right so if somebody's pushing your knee at all for the knee elbow that is a great time grab my my wrist like the knife edge of my hand and pluck it up boom right here um grab my sleeve and pull it up and out yes good so that's kind of like look here grab the sleeve pull it up all right grab the uh, elbow yes Grab the hand on that one, strip the grip, knife hand, yeah, and just pull it up right here. Uh huh. Boom. And you can do this, this is kind of bonus material, but grab, grab my hand like that. I'm gonna hold on real hard. <laughs> kick your leg back a little bit. Yes. See, and you, you didn't even kick your leg back as much as you brought your hip forward, which I also like, which is the same thing I was telling you to do, right? It's just like, make some space here, right? It's not like, there, just try and get with just your hand. I'm gonna hold on real tight. All right, let me go. All right, now add your hip and, and leg into it. Yes. Okay, so, you know, the lesson here is that people, if you look back to the first class on holding mount, people are going to push you off. They're gonna try. We know this. Like, what, what technique have we done on, um, you know, trying, like, people dealt with that didn't involve the push? Like a bridge, what am I doing with the bridge? I'm pushing my hips up, right? I'm, I'm pushing my back against the floor. I'm driving my feet into the floor to raise and impress my hips. So, um, you know, there's a lot of push-pull dynamic here in this stuff. And um, this is just kind of the fundamentals of maintaining the middle mount position.